Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. I'm a little bit under the weather today, but I wanted to talk to you about Verizon's LTE 4G rollout. They uh, had a little press event. They also, previously before the event, sent out a little press release, a little website that you could check out. That's verizonwireless.com slash 4G LTE. So let's just get into some of the specifics. This will be launching on December 5th, so that is this weekend. It'll be launching in 38 cities, including LA, West Palm Beach, Washington DC, New Orleans, Boston, New York, Dallas, and Philadelphia, as well as 60 airports. Again, to check if it's available in your area, you can look through the city list, or you can type in your address and check there at verizonwireless.com slash 4G LTE. So let's talk about speed for a second. What can we expect? Obviously, we haven't been able to test this out quite yet ourselves, um, and of course, this is a lot lower than the theoretical speed of LTE. But Verizon is telling, is saying 5 to 12 megabits per second downstream, 2 to 5 megabits per second upstream, and half the latency of existing 3G infrastructure. That latency is really a big thing. I'm sure we've all, we all know what it is. It's that little delay from the time you click enter to the time it starts loading the page. So half of that latency is gone, according to Verizon, obviously. We don't really know until we get it. So what's the hardware? Phones will be discussed at CES, so nothing coming now, with launches by mid-2011. They didn't announce any hardware partners, they didn't say what to expect, they didn't give us any solid dates. They just said, you know, this is more of a laptop, mobile event, phones con for consumers, we'll talk about that at CES. So the LG VL600 and Pantech UML290 will be released on December 5th for you to buy. They're both very similar, just one's made by Pantech, one's made by LG, so pick your poison. Uh, they're going to be $99.99 after a $50 mail-in rebate. And unlike some of the stuff that Clear has done, this will be completely, all these devices will be EVDO backwards compatible. Now Sprint's WiMAX, like the Overdrive, uh, those devices did fall back to 3G, but Clear's service did not. If you weren't in 4G, you didn't get any reception. So they made a point of saying, you know, you'll be able to fall back to our amazing 3G network that we currently already have. They also boasted a lot about their 700 megahertz spectrum and how this will allow them, you know, the, the ability to roll out much quicker and much a, a much stronger network and infrastructure in the coming years with their entire footprint being migrated over to LGE to LTE excuse me by 2013 so let's talk about pricing for a second fifty dollars is gonna get you a five gigabyte plan eighty dollars is gonna get you a ten gigabyte plan and for either of those if you go over it's gonna be ten gigabytes extra and something that they mentioned was no throttling I didn't really think this was a big issue. I know that Comcast was rumored to have done it in the past for heavy data users, although now nobody wants to touch that subject. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. But they, they specifically said we won't be throttling, so no matter how much data you use, as long as you're paying your bill, monthly bill, you're not gonna have any slowdown, which is obviously a pretty good thing to have. So there's not a lot here for you. Uh, again, we'll see a lot more real world stuff December 5th when this launches. Again, that's this weekend. 38 cities, 60 airports, and almost 12 megabits per second downstream. Essentially what they're trying to do here is create a home wireless network wherever you go. And once this begins to roll out to more places, this is definitely a very appealing thing. And I think it's really putting Sprint, and uh, they also poked fun at T-Mobile by saying that not all 4G is 4G, because you know T-Mobile's advertising their HSPA network as 4G speeds. Um, but, but the, and, and especially AT&T, who doesn't have any sort of 4G offerings at this point. If, if you know this works as advertised and it's really a clean experience and they can get some nice phones launching in 2011 that'll take advantage of this, Verizon Wireless is really putting themselves ahead, especially if they can somehow get the iPhone next year, which hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be seeing. Uh, so I'm Michael Strzok from MichaelStrzok.com. Are you excited for LTE? You know, I kind of am. I'm not a Verizon Wireless customer right now per se, but obviously all these technologies push the market forward and require the other carriers to catch up. Um, and so I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try to feel better and have a nice day.